is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am so excited for today's video. Oh, and not to mention, I dyed my hair blonde, but this is the worst ever video I could share you guys with it in because I haven't watched it in four days. I'm just lazy. I want to get this video up by 2 p.m. It's currently 11.30. I have to edit the whole thing. I don't have time to wash and dry and style. But in case you want more information on my blonde hair and you want to see it in like a good state, then definitely go and check out my video on my main channel. I'll put it on a card above so you can check out the whole process of me dyeing it platinum. But today's video is a super, super exciting one. I've been working on this for like a couple days now. It is a concrete DIY room decor video. And the thing I love about concrete room decor is how affordable it is. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. We are creating a set of four coasters for a quarter. We're creating a hanging planter for like 40 cents. And we're also creating a jewelry stand for a couple of dollars. When you DIY your own concrete or cement room decor, it is so affordable. Like, you'll find something at Target for like $40 that you can literally recreate for like 40 cents. I'm not kidding you. So I'm so excited to share these projects with you guys. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more concrete room decor, cement room decor, whatever you want to call it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your daily dose of DIY because I'm coming back with so many more videos now that I have moved into my new apartment. And yeah, let's just get into these projects. For this first project, all you're going to need is some copper pipes, cement mix, water, and something to act as a mold. So I actually used this oatmeal container. And this is what the cement comes like. There are lots of rocks in it, but because I'm using a large surface area of cement, I don't mind that for this project. So I mixed as much water as needed. I don't know if there's like a certain method for it, but I just scooped a couple cups of cement into my bowl and then added about one cup of water to make it a watery consistency and filled up this large oatmeal container. Um, just as much of the cement as I had in there that I created. I didn't really care how much I used. Once that's done, just kind of wiggle it around so all the air bubbles get out. And then I put this copper pipe in there, let it dry overnight. And then once it's dry in the morning time, you can actually cut away the oatmeal container and it's gonna look exactly like this. It's really incredible, so easy, I swear to you guys. It's so simple and easy. And these copper pipes I just picked up at Home Depot for a do about a dollar each, so they're pretty affordable. And then I used an emery board or a nail file just to sand down any rough edges so it wasn't like any pokey or prickly or anything like that. This is how you can perfect your concrete projects as well. And then just a little bit of E6000 to glue this little joint connector on which is just like a three-way connector and I glued it to the top of my pole and then I added a bit more E6000 on the inside and glued on the longer pole which is going to act as the actual jewelry holder and that's your finished project just let it dry for a couple hours and you have a jewelry stand Next, we're creating a perfect gift idea, which is a concrete hanging planter. You're just going to need a plastic cup, a little Dixie cup, some twine, cement, and scissors. So I actually sifted my cement, so I got really, really fine particles, which I do for a lot of my projects that are more smaller in size. So I mixed in water again, and this is the most perfect consistency right here. I'll show you in a second. Right here, this is like what it needs to look like, a little bit more wet than dry. And then I poured it into my plastic cup. This is just like a random plastic cup from Target. And I bopped it up and down on the table a little bit. We love bopping it because it actually gets out the air bubbles and makes it really smooth on the top. And then I stuck my little Dixie cup into the actual um, cement and pushed it down in there to create sort of a mold area. And then cut three pieces of twine randomly and tied knots at the end of all three pieces. We're using that as an anchor, so when you push it down into the cement around the actual Dixie cup, it's kind of going to have the cement form around it and anchor it into the cement. I added a bit more cement with my stick right above and just let it sort of like pat around the edges and fill in all the gaps and crevices. And do not worry if you get it on random objects, you can just chip it right off when it dries. And then I let it dry overnight, of course, cut off the outside cup, which was a little bit challenging actually, but if you have an X-Acto knife, it's probably a lot easier. And then once it's cut off, you can pull off the inside of the cup and you can go to perfecting it. So how I perfected it was just with an emery board, knocked off any random chippings, and then you can just go around the edges and give it a nice sanding. And that's how you create your hanging planter. I just glued a faux plant in from Ikea to the bottom of it and you have this really cool little planter.
last project might be my favorite. It's a concrete coaster set. You're just going to need some scissors, a glue gun, a random piece of thick cardstock or paper, and then a couple plastic cups and your cement. So I started off by taking four of these plastic cups and cutting them as shown. So I just kind of created a fur an initial cut in the side of the cup and then I cut all the way around just to have this top portion because we're actually going to have the coaster be the width of the top of a plastic cup. And I glued it onto this backing of a notebook I had, um, just anything thicker in weight so that it doesn't like seep through a normal piece of paper and I glued it on to create a mold. So you can see this is the mold that I created. Just make sure you put a lot of glue around it so that the concrete can't seep out of the edges. And then I mixed up my sifted concrete with a little bit of water into a nice good concrete consistency and I just dolloped it kind of inside each of those molds and used my stick to maneuver it around and then of course you can also tap it up and down on the table just to relieve any air bubbles and make sure that the concrete is filling in the entire mold. And then I did a to all four of them and this is such an easy way to create four coasters like so affordable too and then I let it dry overnight and of course pop them out in the morning so easy I just pulled the backing right off of the um, initial mold and then you can just pop them right out and last but not least I used an emery board and a little nail file just to file down the edges to make them nice and smooth and that is your finished project <laughs> You guys really really love these diy concrete projects and if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for your daily dose of diy and you can also check out my second channel on the bottom right video that's the most recent from that channel and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys I'm